Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Starfield. In the last video, we learned in detail how to upgrade, change parts, make adjustment adjustments to the ship so that everything is calibrated and uh, steel. Let me see the mission. Speak to Mathis. Because of the past, okay. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not wrapping me out to Delgado. And telling him how much I pitched in, that was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. What? No, you've got to be crazy. All I'm going to do is lay low for a while, get a few jobs from Voss, and maybe get drunk. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Anything you need, you just ask. And I'll be there to back you up. So, we made a little friend. Of the treacherous backstabby flavor, but a friend. <laughs> you just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. Sam is just <laughs> straightforward. So straightforward that he doesn't even care who's listening or not. This, this is their bar? I've been in shift your joints and me on. I just expected a few dead bodies. Who's this? Okay, let me see. Oh, we are still doing Echoes of the Bust. Well, there you are. Alright, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. Instead of drawing deep space for stick change, we got a much bigger target. Of course you'll get a cut. That's how everything works around here. Why would this be any different? Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it seems, while you're in the siren, swiping those Galvate credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. No. Dombrowski's only Dombrowski. the gal bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. Guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. This crowd would eat it up. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? So if we want to see any juice at the end, we gotta play ball. Message received. Yeah? And who do you think Delgado's gonna back in a dispute? You over me. Psh, please. 
All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my boots. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a work to everyone in the field. Stay sharp, Rook. I hate being called Rook. And by that Neva Mora. It's all the same to you, and let's leave the key as soon as we can. Yeah? You check out the Reckoner's core. She's a beaut, ain't she? I see you've completed your first mission. We all have to start somewhere. Good luck with the mission. If you need credits, you know where to find me. I cannot take more missions now. I have already taken like four of them right now. This is exactly what I pictured of the Crimson You've Fleet. got the credits, I've got the time. parents. That and eye patches. Oh, yeah. Nothing like changing it up to make a ship feel new again. I need... Uh... Why is still there one error? On it has modules.
still don't understand क्लास ऑन अटैच मॉड्यूल्स भाई इसको लगाने से तीन एरर हटाओ पैन छोड़ बाद में ठीक करेंगे भाई जो कुछ शिप का अटैक वाला मिशन होगा वो बाद में सर लास्ट में करेंगे बाद में दिमाग खराब कर दिया से जाके इस औरत के लिए मेरे को ट्रॉफी लेके आना है खुद ये कुछ नहीं कर पाती है गलत काम है जैसे कर पाती है लेकिन मैं भी कुछ जासूस कंसन प्लेट में अपना तो बस सिलेक्ट होने में इतना टाइम लगाते हैं के हजार बार दबाना पड़ता है यार देख के लगता है हम लोग ब्लैक होल पार के निकल रहे हैं get an Alpha Centauri from Officer Petrosian the other day. The man takes his job very seriously. Lost a bet to one of the officers. Got locked in my birthday. It's gonna 
suck. <laughs> Where is the fleet as you chase some ghosts on Super Oh, well, I'm spookier than a pirate. Yo, back. So, how did it go? Frankly, it's because we've never gotten this far before. The last agent I sent to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet ended up in a morgue on New Atlantis. Even with our best intelligence equipment, we can monitor very little from the vigilance. We can pick up local communications chatter and use long-range scans to see where you travel. But when you're on the ground, you're on your own. We get too close, we not only expose ourselves to an attack, we might blow your cover, and that could get everyone killed. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado. But never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? You're kidding. Crix's huh? legacy. I always wondered if that damn thing was real. Judging from the fact that this data involves both Crix and legacy, I'd say it's as real as it gets, Ranger Cole. Oh, so Sam yes, was not in that mission, right? Sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. Sarah, Sarah we assumed was it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, we can solve that little mystery in about 10 seconds. Let me see what we have here. Nope, there are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Galbank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he reached his own neck to get that information, he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? At once, see. We monitored your ships heading down to the surface of Suvorov. In fact, when he returned to the key and you didn't immediately follow, well, we almost thought our operation was terminated. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe you should head out to New Atlantis, sir. You could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Briggs was clever. For some reason, he never got there. Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Crix wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No, the Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency, well, ever. And let Neva Mora take his place, or Shinya Voss, or any one of a number of pirates already gunning for his position. No. The solution is to stick to the undercover operation and determine how much of this is truly a credible threat. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. 
Report dismissed. It's the Crimson Fleet. That job is mine, right? Fuckers. Good day, Captain. Stars. We are doing breaking the bank. Okay, there are so many. Let's go to that place. Okay, jump to Aranai. Then we can
help you? Attend your interview at Eugene Tower. Check in with Lynn. You must be one of the candidates that Imogen Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room. Follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. And hopefully I have some answers. Imogen Salzo is my idol. She's ruthless, but still knows how to behave around everyday people, if you know what I mean. She's probably next in line to take over for Ularu Chen, head of operations here, which would be a godsend considering Chen has no filter and loves to speak her mind. No one loves brutal honesty that much. Yeah, he loves Chen. But he has a crush on Chen. Oh, wow. You're serious? Well, Ryujin is the tech industry leader in the settled systems, mostly known for neuroamps which exploded on the scene about 15 years ago. Other than that, our products include operating systems, security, various quality of life improvements for the home. We're like a full package. If you really want more info, I'd recommend reading up at one of the kiosks. They've got this company's entire history listed. At least the history they want me to know. Between you and me, I think Imogene is about done with the whole process. You won't believe the people we've been getting. I heard the hiring algorithm Yuko made approve all applicants. And of course Yuko bailed when interview time hit. It's technically her job. And Imogene is furious. Good. Best not keep Imogene waiting too long. And the offer still stands if you need someone to show you the way. Oh, guess we're done here. Okay, so I'm going for another interview in the game. You can just feel all that corporate bullshit oozing from this place. Yeah. Make it quick. I have a deadline. The Rafik Hamza. You're interrupting me. Is this time accounted for? <clears throat> We're on a strict schedule. I just want to make sure this impromptu meeting is properly tracked. I doubt that. I check my schedule regularly, and this conversation was not on the budget. If time is money, then suffice to say Ms. Serrano would not be pleased with such a frivolous expenditure. She might disagree, but fine. Let's leave her out of it. And since you clearly have bandwidth to spare, maybe you can help me clean up a uh, minor indiscretion. I'm not at liberty to say. I will remind you of another common phrase. Loose lips sink ships. So, be cautious around the office and discuss intel at your peril. Good. Let me give you some background. Recently, I've been assisting the impoverished in both Ebside and the Underbelly. I pay for the occasional meal, clinic visit, or comfort. But I may have lost a slate process. I need you to locate and retrieve it for me. Pre-assignment intel for one of our operatives. The contents themselves aren't too sensitive, so if you're thinking of betraying me, they aren't worth much as leverage. My sloppiness is simply an embarrassment that I'd like to correct. Then we have an agreement. Good. Go to the underbelly and talk to the panhandler, Huang. Discarded items are her specialty, so she may have come across the slate herself. If you can manage to find it, bring it back to me, and I will pay you for the time. Goodbye. 
also we got another mission while can't you see I'm busy Just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match, which I'll take up with our technicians later. So let's get this over with. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? I can appreciate an honest answer. And if you're hired, you'll be making far more than just a few credits. Provided you're successful, of course. This next one should be interesting, considering you marked having zero experience. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Aren't we both? I'm just going to take your answer at face value. This is getting interesting to me. How motivated are you to succeed? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? <laughs> well, you've certainly come to the right place for that. Considering your education, I'm sure you could reasonably find a place in that apartment. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period, of course. Especially considering this criminal record of yours. First order. There's a meeting starting soon and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. Did you guys look at the face of the guy, of my character, and... Just waiting for more info. The interview is over. So we're going for that coffee. There's a line just say that you are here to bring coffee for Salzo and then just go away make way for you push deadlines for you kill people for you <laughs> That's not like that. So you can talk to NPCs here and if they talk back How's it going? Maybe no time to chat you will get a new mission, like I did earlier there. Can't talk right now, sorry. Some advice? The, the, the troll? The Tracker's Alliance always finds their mark. Stay safe. Stay wary. Oh hey, what's up? Anywhere in the galaxy. Ah, and you guys here? Join up. Welcome to Terra Brew. How can I help you? Oh, the Ryujin order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did you finally get that from me? I got fired is what happened. And this... is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. 
kissing up to that high and mighty Uwaru Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? You don't even know your own boss's boss. Ularu is Ryujin's head of operations, or Resident Shark, if you ask me. If she smells blood in the water, you're dead. Like, who knows? I, I looked at someone wrong. The coffee was not. They didn't even have the decency to tell me. They just had security escort me out of the building. Like, like some criminal. Yeah, I bet you are. No one's ever sorry in this business. Now that I've been terminated, so yeah, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. This guy, but... So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Okay. Believe me, it's either you or me. You are seriously attached to this shitty job. Take a breath, pal. No one's terminating anyone. You don't just get to learn all the ins and outs of Ryujin operations and then just walk away. Even worse, I got fired! <sighs> they don't let that kind of knowledge run around in the head of disgruntled employees. It's just a matter of time before they send you after me. So, I'm taking matters into my own hands! You wanna talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what! You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? And I think you know where this is headed. I want to fail, man. You act like you're better than me. You're not. You can't be that good. Not yet. I don't care what you say. Nothing Ryujin does is fair and square. Looks like I'll be doing Ryujin one last favor after all! Well, that just made my day more interesting. Look, I don't want any trouble, but I'd get fired if I didn't call security to get this body out of here. So I'd head back to Ryujin ASAP and let Miss Salzen know if that were you. Long as you do, you've got nothing to worry about. Sam can be He was killed by one shot. I did not even reload. You can see I have full magazine clip here. कभी कभी होता ना कि भाई मतलब ship building में मेरा दो video चला गया. 30 मिनट कर गए तो इस वीडियो में मैं ज्यादा मिशन कर रहा हूँ I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer. And the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention. We'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Typical. <laughs> Just typical. A little homicide gets you a big fat gold star at Ryujin.
Let me explain. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? In any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, they would take away our edge. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Meet Linden, Calderi, meet Genevieve, Monahan, meet Camden, Ho, and there was one other. <laughs> Sounds like something my son would say. And no, I don't mean that as a compliment. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Good. Then we should get along just fine. want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but terrible it is. For the past five years, tranquility is a recent acquisition and we've only just begun to develop the brand. You may have seen how several vendors carry the product now. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, from the sound of it, might be often. Good. Then it appears we have nothing left to discuss. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. <laughs> Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. 
The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Oh boy, you're going to be a real handful. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Come on, Sam, move. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. So she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected that Grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Okay, now we're gonna have to talk to Mojin. It's 50 minutes. I have some time. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I can only imagine. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We've reason to believe that our friends at Calcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Hardly. This is the standard run-of-the-mill tactic we've come to expect from them. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. That's up for you to determine. Think of it as the creative aspect of your job. There's always more than one way to get the job done around here. Think of it as a lesson that Kelp Corp gets to learn the hard way. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Kelp Corp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Okay, so I have to hack or uh, unlock something. That's why I got to do the slate search. If you happen to see Linda, I'll can I help you? You have a girl a heads up? Until next Security's got its eyes on Saburo Okadipo.
fresh and sour. Maybe I can do this in one hour and Are you supposed to be here? Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Keep it moving. What do you want to do for the break? What? I'm working here. I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruption since this morning, and I'm not spending enough break at my desk. It's Why is she standing here? Yeah, she, 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 she sees me hacking and then it's all over. I can only do this when she goes away. their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? It's anxiety inducing. I know what you mean. Not a single setback. Huh. I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. <laughs> and I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here, just on a much higher level. So One of our so subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract for against Laredo. Now, the buyer business. likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. 
Oh, the best part is we don't even have to fabricate this information. We're just exposing what Laredo would rather keep hidden. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. So, we got to get into DigiPix. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with more exciting videos until then. I hate being stuck in the office. Stay tuned and have a good day guys. Take care. And we'll start from here in the next one. We have to go to another planet or something. So, see you guys.